It's not working. Hold on a second. Uh, I, I'm Desert Gentleman. Welcome back to Accident. I'm your man, the Desert Gentleman. Well, we're gonna try to solve some more mysteries. So last time we've solved some of them. It was nice. It was good. It was great, I guess. But you know, I want to give the game uh, a bit of a bigger try let's say i want to actually dive a little bit deeper into it so we did this thing that's for sure uh we've got hit by a car a few times uh what else we have oh we got this thing fatal error okay somewhere in italy okay uh victims one two three four four victims over here okay and Felice Giardo was the first responder okay so keep in mind that there are gonna be four Potential uh, victims of this thing. Sure, start the simulation. Let's get our hands dirty. Let's save some people in virtual reality. That, that thing is terrifying. Holy shit. I'm never gonna use a VR set. Never. Here we go, boys. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> I. Th this thing is not rendering fast enough. What the shit? Okay, so basically, I'm not doing anything. You have to enjoy the view over here in this game, you know? Oh my god. Sure, sure, why not? Okay, right, call the paramedics. Uh, what's my phone? Pick up the phone. 911. Yeah, it's 112 because I'm in Poland, so just so you know. Pick up the phone. God damn it. Thank you for the ambulance on the way. Before giving any more information, make sure that the area is safe. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I'm gonna let get out of the car, turn off the engine. Did I turn it off? I hope so. This is a nice car, by the way. Uh, hazard lights. Okay, open up. Now, what else we need to do? Mark accident location. Start by placing warning triangles on both sides of the road. Sure, as soon as I'm gonna faint some. Uh, there you go. Emergency triangles. Right. <gasps> faster, 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 faster. Put those things over here so some idiot is not gonna try to smash my uh, back of my car. You know, I haven't paid for it yet. I still have to pay the loan. Uh, I need more of those. Is there like any more of those? I only got one triangle. <laughs> okay, maybe one of them have a uh, have another one. Damn it! Shit. Okay. Did I just had a shot? Open up the door. Oh my god! Dude, like, <laughs> you know, final destination stuff like that. Move the lock. Oh, I am fucking strong, man. Strongest fucking guy alive. Okay. Of course, a woman. <laughs> right, turn off the engines. What in the seven hells have happened over here? Right, uh, mark accident location. Can I? Come on, come on, come on. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Okay, go, 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 go. Quickly. <laughs> Don't <laughs> speed up here. This is Italy. Who the fuck I'm kidding? Somebody's gonna crash into me. Good. Now try to find a. Precisely, where are you? Try the GPS in you if you have one. Uh, yeah, I got a really good one. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, get into the car. Come on, get into the car. Now, what is this thing? Uh, when giving you location to avoid, try to avoid GPS coordinates. Okay, use road ma names. Check the victims and see who needs your help the most. All of them need a dick in my in their mouth. In my mouth? No, I don't I don't want to have a dick in my mouth. No, sorry. Okay, inspect. First the head. Shoulder. Can you hear me? Dude! Okay, uh pull his head back. Pull his head back. Is he breathing? Oh my god, the stench! Ugh! <laughs> I won't! <laughs> Thank you, I'll write information to the paramedics. Yeah, please do. Okay, how about the woman? Hello, sweetheart, how are you? First, uh, no, because, you know, uh, because of the certain events that are currently happening, what you need to do is that you need to first ask her for permission that you are allowed to touch her. Remember that thing, kids. You really don't want to get later on accused of, you know, whatever bullshit. So just saying, remember that. Thank you, rally the information to the paramedics. Okay, this guy, this, this is a guy, that, no, it's a woman. I mean, I think she recognized as a woman. Probably she recognized as an attack helicopter. Wound. Check breathing. She is dead! I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do for this one. Oh, great! 
Okay, and there's her partner! <laughs> the, the fucking log massacred it. <laughs> Sir, are you alright? Just ignore the gigantic fucking log that went through your face. Broken neck. Ow. Ooh, well, at least the death was quick. Alright, uh. Help the man in the surf. Okay, uh. Help the victims. Grab the first med kit. Come on, go, 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 go. Something sharp needed. If the hatching can brush down and dress the wound around it, won't pull. Uh, what? Help the victims. Something sharp needed. C can I use my dick? I don't think so. Do I have a chainsaw, maybe? Utility knife. Sure, great. <laughs> Do you honestly think that it's gonna be sharp enough? Okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, now what? In real life. When dealing with a particular wound, don't don't remove the foreign objects. Something, something, something. Put on the gloves. Okay. Uh gloves. Scissors. What else? Do I need a bandage or something? Remove the claws and the wound. Okay. Oh Jesus fine Christ blood. Ah, I'm gonna puke. Okay. Right. Yay, the paramedics have arrived! Yuppie! Took you a fucking while. Holy shit, man. This is a, this is devastation. Holy crap. Ugh. I thought that this game is gonna be like, you know, fun and, fun, fun and giggles. No? No, no, no. Clue. Adia turns away from the accident, loses control and hits a tree. Yeah, because you were going over the speed limit, you dipshit. And also because the moron that we've passed uh, lost his locks. I'm surprised he haven't hit like a few locks have went like drop of his of his truck, you know, like there was actually a part of the delivery. Ah, uh, surprise, surprise, surprise over there! One of the locks smashed into the car behind. Yeah, and the driver didn't hurt anything. He was probably listening to some bullshit music. Road sign in the relevant. Okay. I don't think uh, trunk jam it. Is there anything else we could try to potentially do over here? No! Oh. A loose branch gets stuck in the compact car wheel, making it impossible to turn. Ouch. Ouch. What's the chance of that thing, that thing to happen, man? What's the chance? Alright. Let me guess. This guy smashed it into a tree! <laughs> Find an action, Watson! I can't even check what the heck has happened over here. Irrelevant. Uh, try to put the fragments together. Do I have everything? Yeah, I think so. So, first the guy lost his locks. Mm, one of the locks smashed into the car behind. Uh, loose branch gets stuck in the compact car wheel. And this, this guy didn't manage to do anything, so he just crashed it. Yay! Lucky for us, Joe, the branch that preset his chest missed the lungs. This and the imitated help ensure that, that despite I mean the infection, his wound healed in an invisible short time in a matter of weeks. Ar Aristio returned to work and the accident became just some other episode in his life. The log that fell on the car killed Ippolito on the spot. He was buried a week later in his hometown after finding out that the truck driver escaped from a scene of the accident, Ippolino's family shoot him in the company he worked for. Good job! Justice! After a prolonged legal battle, uh, they won enough money to pay for his orphaned child college. Oh shit. Just like her husband, Trufila died the moment the log fell on their car. They were buried together by the family. Her son Renzo, 9 years old at the time, was raised by his grandfather and his family, and later in his life became a paramedic. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if this actually like based on real life. Despite suffering only minor injuries, Otivia suffered greatly from the accident. The moment she reg regained consciousness, she blamed herself for not avoiding the car in front of the imagined. The image of the accident was stuck in her memory for a long time, causing panic attacks and other PTSD-like symptoms. Despite extensive therapy, she was never confident enough to drive a car again. And only because some stupid idiot forgot to secure the cargo as he should. Motherfucker! I'm gonna find you and you're gonna eat a lock. I'm gonna force you to eat a lock, 
dipshit. I think we got time, ladies and gentlemen, for one more accident. So we got we got new cases, of course. We got Sweden, uh, we got France, and we got the US. I think I'm gonna go with France and see how that thing is gonna go. Start the simulation. Sure, let's start it. Let's see how this thing is actually gonna go. Wait, is 1-1-2, I think, in Europe or is it just in Poland? I know 1-1-2 is in Poland, that's for sure. 9-1-1 is in, is in United States. But I'm not exactly sure what's in the rest of Europe. That's a, that's probably a good question to ask. I've just checked, so I won't end up as an idiot. It's in Europe, apparently. <laughs> My mistake, I'm so sorry. My mistake indeed. Ah, here we go. Look at this thing. I got a prop. Oh yeah, sport car. Yeah, baby. Yeah, the, the mirrors are not keeping up with the animation. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, slowly. So I can already see something happen over there. How the fuck you've managed to do this? How in the seven hells you've managed to do something like that? Okay, where's the phone? I don't see my phone. But there's my phone. Okay. 111-992-668 Turn off the engine, you idiot Oh I think I see what happened <laughs> Holy shit Thank you, emergency's on the way, please stay on the line Yes, 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 I know Hazard lights Glove compartment I bet you I'm gonna find something over there Secure the area Right, let's see Need that quickly. Prevent the car. Oh shit, there's fire! Fire, fire. Oh, that's a nice car. Okay, uh, trunk, 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 trunk. Fire extinguisher. Take out the fire! Take out the fire! It's not working. Hold on a second. Uh, I, I, I may have accidentally fucked up. <laughs> okay, first things first. First the car on the, on the, on the, on the edge. Okay, how the heck I'm supposed to secure this thing? <laughs> can't damage, can't open up that thing. How, how the heck I'm supposed to secure this? Too dangerous. How you expect me to secure this thing? No, seriously, how do you expect me? And bye. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try one more time, shall we? <laughs> this time go a little bit back. Okay. Start from, from this point. Open up this thing. Mark the accident location. Take out the fire. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't think warning, warning triangles will help over here. What? Trunk? Open it somehow? What? You, you want me to get inside of this thing or what? How, how the fuck am I supposed to do over here? Stone. Stuck. Wait, you want me to put stones inside? Can you hold up a second? Okay, I got stones over here. Right, open up the trunk. Stone. Put it here. There you go. I'm acting fast. And this one over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it. Okay. Right. One, two, one car secured. Now I need the fire extinguisher. Come on. Give me the fire extinguisher. There you go. Okay. Take out the flames. Turn off the ignition. Uh, I, I'm trying to trust me on that thing. Okay. Taking out the fire. Taking out the fire. Piss on it. Piss on it to show dominance. <laughs> are you doing my fucking best? Turn off the ignition in the vehicles. Trust me, I am working on that thing. Is it done? Okay, I hope it's done. Right, open up the door. Turn on ignition. Turn off ignition, not turn on. I cannot. No, don't close the stupid door. Get inside! <laughs> I... Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, Come on! Okay. Is this a passenger seat? I think this is a passenger seat. Hello, good morning. Turn off, okay. Right, this thing is still about to go boom boom. Uh, what could try to do? Open up the trunk. Okay, fire extinguisher. Do not explode! You're not allowed to go boom! Probably some of them are already dead. Can this thing finally- there you go. Okay, excellent work. Pull out the stop sign, stop the area, area. Why? I have to put this thing so far away. Most situations when get triangles should be put to 50 meters away. 100, 160 feet. Who's gonna count that thing? What? I have to count that thing? You serious? Christ, okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 40, 50, 50, 50, I already lost the counting. Okay, now what? Assume it's over here. Okay. Now what? 
Good, now check everyone's briefing. And please find out precisely where you are. Sending a rescue helicopter. Yeah, you better. Yeah, get inside of your fancy, fancy car. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to give you the location. Thank you, I'll write the information to the paramedics. Good, 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 good. Present kit. Right, let's see. You're probably dead already. <laughs> he looks dead. <laughs> Sir, can you hear me? Check for breathing. He's dead! Broken neck. Great. Thank you, right information to the paramedics. Okay, excuse me, madam, I need to touch you. Are you fine with this? And? Nice breasts! Okay, she's breathing. Right the information to the paramedics. Good, 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 good. Okay, what about you? Yeah, he's fine! <laughs> he's shaking! <laughs> he's like, oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> this is not fucking funny. Why am I fucking laughing? I don't know. Not this guy. The other guy. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead. Checks for injuries. Thank you. Ready information to the paramedics. Uh, try to get the man in the car. He can still fall off, okay? Help get him out. Get over here, you little shit. Okay, where is he? Oh, t <laughs> Great. Ah, <laughs> uh, please go wait in your vehicle. The helicopter is only a few minutes away. Yeah, you better. I'm just gonna listen to some classic music, you know, Mozart maybe. Oh my god. Wait for help. Here they come! Yeah, I hope you guys not gonna crash. I really don't have patience to help the idiots with a, in a helicopter, you know, just, just saying out loudly. Yay, they've arrived! Good job, boys! Good job! Phew! Alright, discover the cause. Let me guess. <laughs> I, I've have, I have some suspicion <laughs> that I have a feeling that this guy was <laughs> actually a reason over here. Why this thing happened? Ah, oh, crap. Irrelevant. Hmm. Okay. Crash into Gulimas car. Passenger door. Nothing I can do over here. Can I check something here? A wheel. Insufficient clue. Cut the breeze. Clue. Sudden falls off the cliff into the street below. Yeah, you don't say. I think I've noticed. Go up. Oh, I can go up. Oh. Oh. That's nice. Go down. I don't think I want to. What the shit? Yeah, I see this thing coming. This is control of his car. Yeah, let me guess. You've tried to impress your wife, girlfriend, or I don't know, fucking sister. I don't really care. Sudden drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, well, you were not trying actually to impress anybody over here. Nor did you try. Well, I think it's quite obvious what happened over here. We have another uh, clear evidence of a moron. So, yeah. Okay. Loses control. Drives over the large rock. Breaks to heart. I think this was gonna be the last one. Oh, wait. It's gonna be over here. There I go. Okay. Uh, drives over a large rock and blows a tire. That thing happened first. Yellow sedan. Sedan falls from a uh, cliff into the street below. Gulima lost control of the car. Wait, it's gonna be like this. 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 So, the one who fell from the cliff crashed it over here. This one... This one crashes into it, and the last guy didn't manage to do anything, so he pressed the brakes as hard as he could, and, well, things happened that have happened. When emergency service uh, finally, uh, fin were finally able to remove Adriana from her car, it was already too late. She died either when the car fell down off the hill or when the seat car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. Arena met you. Gulimo with the boss. 
While his cat was rolling down the hillside, uh, Grima hit his roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. Ouch. Despite losing consciousness, Brancy was not seriously injured during the accident. She was received, revived shortly after arriving at the hospital and left in two days later. After that, she contacted the boss and Kaplan families and helped them deal with the grief. They remain close friends to this day. Wow. It took Hugo several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when the car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. <laughs> this is a great commercial for the for the manufacturing of brakes, you know. Uh, the accident triggered severe uh, acrophobia, fear of heights, that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a lack of psychologists, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. Yay! Our car is gonna stop just before the cliff every time. Commercial. <laughs> it's a great advertisement. <laughs> Breaking at the edge of a cliff. No problem. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that this is not a laughing matter. I'm completely aware of that thing. But, you know, I mean, this is just a game, right? You're supposed to have a bit of a fun over here. You're not supposed to take this thing seriously. But I do believe that you are supposed to take some lessons from this game. So keep in mind that... Actually, the things that happen over here are something that may one day be useful for you. So keep that thing in mind because you never know what type of knowledge you're gonna need in the in the upcoming events in your life. You know, just saying. But anyway, I think I'm gonna roll one more episode, and after that, we'll see how this thing is gonna go. If you want to try the game yourself, this link is description below as always. So go ahead, give it a try. Just keep in mind that there is very little to actually exploring over here. It's more like playing, uh, playing on a roller coaster. There's no way of going left or right. You only can go forward, which is kind of annoying. I was kind of expecting that you actually be able to do some proper ex investigations and stuff like that. But you don't. You just go on a one-way ticket uh, on a roller coaster that eventually just stops and you just have to look for another ride later on. So, I don't know. It depends, uh, I guess, on the, on the player. Would you like it or not? I, well, I enjoyed the learning of this. Like, you actually can learn something interesting, as I said. Uh, some of the scenarios are, well, grim. I mean, you know, the game states at the very beginning that you can't save everybody, right? You're not Superman. You're, you're not Iron Man over here. No, 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 no. You're just a sim sim simple guy, a normal person that have its limitations. And I don't really know what to feel, feel about that. I, you know, I want to save people. And apparently, in this game, you cannot save everybody, so... That may actually be some type of a grim experience for some people, so just saying. But anyway, I'm rambling too much, so for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you in the next video.